so uh, today we are going to discuss a common problem that people come across is while installing drupal at a certain point you get this particular page where it tells you that certain php modules are missing so how to avoid this link in between if you don't want to stop or make sure that all the php modules are enabled by default what we can do for that so on a linux system first of all uh, you need to find out what php modules are already installed so that you can do by the following first of all you can just type in php v to check your php version and uh, you can say php hyphen m to get a list of installed modules so what you're getting here are the list of installed modules but the question is whether these listed modules they are the one or all those modules are here or not so before you go ahead and uh, start installing your drupal whatever drupal version you are having what you simply need to do is wherever you have uncompressed it for drupal 8 9 and 10 just go into this core and there is this file called as composer not json okay open this file and here this what you see from this point till this point whatever ext extensions are mentioned fine so ext date dom filter gd hash json pcre pdu sessions simple xml this 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 these are the modules that you require okay and also the php version is mentioned 8.1 or above this is what you Required. So this is from where you can get the list of required modules for installation of your Drupal core. Now just copy this date without the ext hyphen. These are the ones which should be there. So uh, what you can do now is simply go back to your list and check it against this. So you can just check them one by one. Date is there. Dom is there filter is there gd is there hash is there then json is there pcr is there and uh, so on you can check for the remaining ones simple xml is there sessions is there spl is there tokenizer is there and xml is there so if these are already existing in your system then you should not face the problem while installation and this is from where you can get the list now if you are not comfortable with the command line what you could simply do is create uh, this particular file the php test script where you can simply print the loaded extensions via the php page and you can simply go to your browser and call this and here you will get the list of all those things which you are seeing on the command line and from here you can check them now if these are already there you can go ahead with the installation if any of them are missing you will have to get them installed whatever package management command line or whatever suitable mechanism you feel you should get them installed and then only start your Drupal installation. So that's it.